Welcome, welcome to day 20 or the 20th experience for February that I want to unpack for you. And most of my experiences to date that I've talked about have been sort of longer term, like 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago, some of them. This one's like a month ago, two months ago. It's now February, that was January, one month ago. And we went to Cambodia. For anyone out there in the LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram world that's watching this, if you've been to Cambodia and if you've been to the killing fields and S21, which was one of the torture chambers that the Khmer Rouge implemented, instigated during 1975, where they rounded up everyone from the cities and took them out to the country because the Khmer Rouge decided that the country would be self-sustaining living off the land. So we didn't need cities and we didn't need educated folk. So they either tortured or killed city dwellers and educated people, doctors, lawyers, engineers, anyone with a degree really. And to go to S21 where Duch, was his name, D-U-C-H, ran this torture chamber that is horrific, horrific to see. I, I, I don't know, I, words don't do it justice. It's one of the most horrible experiences of my life to go and see what a human race, humans did to each other, their own people. Genocide. Genocide is a horrible thing. Do you know that the Khmer Rouge killed three million people in four years? Three million people, their own people, four years. And there's these killing fields all around Cambodia where all of these millions, well, three million bodies are buried. You know the population of Cambodia was only 8 million at the time? A third of their population. And in the most brutal, inhumane, torturous, horrific way. So sad to see. We were moved, moved to tears when we were there. And we weren't the only ones. And Deutsch, who ran S21, one of the, tor one of the many, many torture chambers, is the only person to ever do jail time based on humanitarian reasons for what happened during those four years in the Khmer Rouge era, 75 to 79 in Cambodia. And there, I don't really have a lesson or an ex, you know, a learning or an experience. I just, I just know how bad it felt to see and to be there and to, to feel the loss, the grief, there was one Australian in amongst all of that and one New Zealander. So, um, yeah, I don't know how to unpack this one. I'm still coming to grips with just what we experienced and what we felt when we were in Cambodia last month.